Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about some ways that you can use to find buyers for export products. You see, the world has changed. What used to work in the past will probably not work nowadays. In the past, for you to find buyers, you have to go to maybe the American embassy or the British embassy, and then you look at trade data of like three years ago, and you have to use that trade data to judge what is going to be in demand this year. Things have changed. Now you can know what is going on instantly. You look at a place like Amazon. Amazon allows you to run data on what is selling as of now. You can use it to have a good idea of what people are buying and what is in demand. And again, the first one I'm going to talk about is a use, obviously, of social media. A lot of us will underestimate this. A lady we were talking to the other day, and she said through social media, she does about $30,000 of export every month. You know, and it works. How do you do it? There are many ways. If you look at what you have on social media, you have so many groups out there. You have groups of Nigerians abroad. You have groups of Ghanaians. You have groups of Kenyans. Go to those groups and begin to communicate. Tell them what you have. Post pictures of the types of images that you have. And you'll be surprised what you will see. These are strategies that people are using. Constantly post. Begin to target those people in the market that you are interested in. Look, these things will not work immediately. You're not going to start posting today and you see results tomorrow because that is one of the problems that most of us have. We think that, oh, these things just happen overnight. You need to be patient. You need to be consistent. Always be posting and your posts must be interesting for people to be interested in it. So the first one is social media. Now the second one, family and friends, right? A lot of us have friends abroad but we are not making use of those connections we have family we have friends who are there how many times are you telling them look i am looking for a business opportunity help me to put this product out there those are some of the things that we need to be doing it's not just friends you know when it's time to drink beer get these people helping you out okay a lot of them know stores. Some of them can walk into stores that are in need of the products you have. Some of them are in groups, associations, that they can help you to market your product. Now, the third one is what I will call Africans in diaspora. There's no hiding the fact nowadays that you have so many, so many Africans out there who have left the shores of Nigeria, Ghana, in many of these places. How do you reach out to them? They have associations, they have organizations, they have social media pages. Go and become a member in those pages and interact with them. Look, a lot of them are looking for local foods that they cannot find abroad. I'm telling you, you need to go out there and do this. Now, the next one is African stores, obviously. African stores. Look, a lot of African stores need products. They need you to supply them. Most of the owners are out there. They don't have the time to come here all the time. Those that have the time to come here all the time have to, first of all, spend so much in transport and so many things. Why can't you become suppliers to these people, right? That is the question. And you know the funny thing? It doesn't take anything to find these people. You can go online, search for African stores in US and UK. You will see them. Begin to email them. Begin to call them tell them what you have that you can supply that is how you grow your export business a lot of us just sit down there and say oh i need to find buyers how do i find buyers it's not by sitting and talking you have to act now another one is obviously amazon amazon gives you the option to list your products i'm sure a lot of you have seen my video on youtube showing you how to sell your products on Amazon. You have the ability, irrespective of where you are in Africa, you can list your products on Amazon. The next one is US online stores. This will amaze you. There are so many retail stores in the USA that are looking for products that they need to put online. A lot of us think, oh, you must be there. You mustn't be there. These are some of the things. These are some of the solutions that we have seen. You have stores like HEB, Kroger's. These are stores that are looking for products. What do you do to get your product out there? Reach out to them. All most of them will do is they will tell you to fill a form and send a sample of your product to them. If they review that product and it's good, what do you think is going to happen? They put your products on the shelf. So don't just sit down there. You need to do the work. Now, the other one is obviously uh, U.S. retail 
stores is almost the same as the US online stores. But again, in this case, these people are mainly in the retail business. It's a little bit harder to get to them, but again, it works. You have to be persistent. You have to reach out. Now, the next one is what I call Amazon sellers. You have companies out there who are doing a lot on Amazon. But you know what? They don't make the products that they sell. All they know, they've figured out the Amazon system and they are selling all their products on Amazon. So what is it that you can do? If you have ginger that you want to sell, if you have pepper, whatever it is that you have to sell, and you know that your pricing is good, all you just do is go to Amazon, search for them, click on them, and then look for their store name. You will always see their store name under the product and then Google it. I have students, people who follow me, who have used this same exact process, and they are using it to sell to people on Amazon. You have a lot of stores. You have some stores who are doing 100, 200, 500, a million dollars every month. You think they are the manufacturers of those products. Most of them are not. They just buy. You can even use this on eBay. You can use this on various outlets out there. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is what I call brand transfer. What is brand transfer? You see, everybody wants to have their name on the product that they sell. It's not about having your name on the product you sell. It's about you making money. Take, for example, some of these stores that already sell. Can you go to them and say, look, I have the ability to manufacture this product. Let me manufacture it for you and put your name on it. And look, this is a success story we have. We had a lady who was selling honey on Amazon. And then somebody saw her honey. And you know what the person did? The person reached out to her and said, look, I like your honey. I tasted it, but I want to sell it in my own name. Can you brand it for me? So what did they do? They manufactured it, just put the label of the person there, and that's it. And that's what I call brand transfer. If you use any of these methods, you are consistent. I can give you one guarantee. In three to six months, you are going to be amazed at the amount of sales, at the amount of orders you are getting. I've tried to list it in the order of difficulty because again, if you look at it, social media is easy. Anybody can get into social media. You can get your family and friends. You can reach out to Africans in diaspora via, via their various associations, African stores, Amazon, US online stores. It's in order of ease. But again, don't try to do everything yourself. What I will advise most businesses is this is powerful. This is powerful. Um, these ones are powerful. Just hire a young boy, somebody who has not much to do. Let them go online and help you find buyers for your business. We have other programs where we dig deeper into all of this, show you how to really do it. But again, I've given you all you need. If you follow these steps, I guarantee you in three to six months, your export business will be on a different level.